Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on how to do material blend shapes since it has also been asked by a lot of VTubers and they want to know how to do material blend shapes in 3D. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So what you'll be needing is to have your model into Unity. In case you don't know how to do that, you'll need Unity BRM 0.66 um, since that is a more stable version. If you use any version like 0.96 or 0.8 um, or something like that, you're probably going into the beta versions of Unity BRM. I will say though, Unity BRM 0.89 is at least the more latest version that you can use. That is quite more stable. But let me go ahead and show you once you you know once you have your model imported, so you'll have to import Unity BRM and then import your BRM file. Make sure to right click create folder and then put your model into that new folder so let me go ahead and demonstrate on how to do that so basically you'll be seeing your folders you'll have your you know all your folders here after descriptor blend shape material you'll have to find the material folder right here which is your fourth folder and you'll see all your materials right here now let's say we want to toggle on and off these shoes as like a demonstration so we'll need to select the shoe material now depending on your model it may vary sometimes some models may have only one single material so in case by any chance um if by any chance you do not have the proper material separation on your model, so let's say you have a model that has only one material, or it's a VR chat model and it only has very few materials, and you, let's say you want to toggle a specific a accessory, but you just can't because there's no separate material, you can try manipulating the textures um, possible by doing like a kind of texture swap with the UV controls, which I'll try to explain as best as I can with that, but it's more preferred if you could do material toggles and stuff which you'll have to use blender using the vrm blender import and export add-on you'll have to use that which links in description um, for those add-ons um, you'll have to use that add-on in order to be able to modify your model in blender and then you can easily export them all out as vrm or export as fbx and then do the vrm process but um, besides that though, um, basically we'll select our shoes and we need to set up, set the rendering type to cutoff. If you're a Roy model, typically this should already be on cutoff, uh, but if not, then make sure it's on cutoff. Um, and then pretty much we'll have to go into our blend sheet, go into the blend shape clip, which looks just like this. And we'll have to click on create blend shape clip right here. Then you can name it, um, we'll say shoe off name so name it whatever you want uh you can name it glasses toggle off or you know glasses hair toggle bow toggle whatever you want it does you know it's up to you on how do you want to do the toggle on and off um then you'll have to go to material list click on the plus button now click on this empty box right here and then it'll show a little list i'm clicking on it um it'll say uh whichever material it depends on your model it differs for whatever you're doing on your model and what the model has uh for me i will click on shoes then click on the other box under it and click on color and then um on the preview here in case you don't know uh, how to see the preview make sure you click on the little um little bar right here that says blend shape and toggle it on and off you can just click it or just click and drag to make sure it's there but by default you should be able to see it if not just make sure to drag it and you'll have to scroll outward on your model find what part you want it to toggle um on and off and then kind of zoom in to make sure it works and for our case yes it has toggled the shoes off which is really nice you can toggle the bow off if you want um so if you want to do a bow toggle, then I think I can do it here with accessory lip, just like that. Very, very simple. Um, let's say instead of a toggle on and off, why not a color toggle instead? Which literally you could do it here. You could just, um, we'll say we'll do for the bow. Let's say we want to make the bow instead of the um, orange we have maybe we could change to a different color so we can change it to red we can just change a color make sure the opacity is on uh, which is the a slider when you click on the um, the color box you can change it to red you can change it to green if you want keep in mind 
um, that your texture may, depending on how your texture is, it may kind of come off a little bit weird. So you might want to edit the texture if possible, but overall you can do um, a nice little color toggle just like that. You can even do an emission toggle while you're at it. Um, make another slot, uh, change from color to, let's say, emission color, and then you can basically have your emission on like that. You know, you could do that. Um, make sure that I think you should be able to have uh, you should set up the um, emission over at the materials. Um, whoopsie daisy. My bad. Um, but basically, you know, you could do emission toggle if you want. Uh, just by setting up your emission color. Uh, you can even set up in room lighting um, toggles as well if you're into that. Uh, do keep in, mind that, keep in mind if you have custom normals, it will look ugly. But yeah, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can even do outline toggles and outline colors as well. See? Um, set to outline color. You can even change the color of the outline just so it'll match the bow. I do that with my model. It's all good. Um, but yeah, that's just to give you a bit of an introduction though you could do all crazy stuff but this is just to get you kind of started on material blend shapes and all that stuff um but you do however you want and in case by any chance you want to do like a texture sort of swap which keep in mind if you want to do a texture swap um it may look weird on transition so keep that in mind if you're on vc face make sure to set your transition to zero super drill actually has a tutorial on that so i'll make sure to link her tutorial in the description in case you want her version on how to do it for especially broid models with different facial expressions but yeah um but basically what you'll have to do if you want to do some just to kind of explain it to you on how to do that sort of thing you'll have to you know set up your let's say body for example we'll have to set the main texture um, basically it'll be main texture st underscore t and basically you'll have to set up your your offset you can click and drag to kind of change um, you can kind of change your offset if you want and all that you know do however you want like I said it's more of experimenting because it depends on the model depends on your textures UV map all that crazy stuff um, but you can definitely do some uh, UV toggles and basically just texture kind of toggles from there just edit the um, things here. You can even do kind of the same thing with shadows in case you have very special shadow maps if you made any under the shade settings. Um, or even normal maps if needed. But pretty much, um, I just stick with just main texture. I don't overcomplicate it. But yeah. Um, pretty much that's kind of the basics on material blend shapes. I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any other issues. But just keep in mind that this is more of just the basics. This really just depends on your model. Please keep that in mind. Your model differs from other models. Your model is very unique. So you may run into some specific issues depending on your model. So make sure you experiment. Learn your model. Learn your materials. Learn your textures. Learn everything about your model to make sure that you know how to operate this sort of thing. Depending on what you're trying to achieve. But other than that though... Um, that's all I have to say. Hope you have a lovely day. Hika, hika, hika. Say bye, everyone. And I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye.